Hi all. Today I'm looking at converting an analysis model from a traditional software package directly into a Grasshopper parametric model. We've also included Caramba as part of the conversion and it's already set up and ready to go when you get the converted file. So you can convert your traditional software package into Caramba directly. Let's have a look. You can easily convert your analysis file by going to Quick Convert on our website. Clicking on the form and uploading your file, you'll get a download link to your conversion. Now before you open it, you will have to have the Caramba plugin installed. There's a link to that in the video description below. I'm just using the free version here, that's all you need. So I'm just going to open up the Grasshopper file that has been converted for us. And there it is, you can see the framing from eTabs has been put into Caramba. It's coming through into Rhino via Grasshopper. It's all set up for you. The points are down here. The member data, which is a, basically a collection of the lines and the connections of the points, uh, which form the members, the columns and the beams, is there. The support indexes are there, so which of these points is the supports for the Caramba structure and the cross sections are there so the um, the columns data and the beam data etc. Now one way we've made this file easier to work with in this form is that we've grouped all the X, Y and Z components to allow them to be manipulated separately. So what I mean by that is all the members endpoints have been grouped into XYZ. So for example, if I look at this group of members on the end here, they all have the same Y value. So with this component here, I know that's index 10, you could think of that as a grid line on that line. I can now vary that to make it shorter or longer and all the members that are connected to that grid line vary with it. So that's quite a quick easy way to change the geometry parametrically from the converted file and of course I can do that for any grid line so if I just flick through them say I set that to an extra meter I can just go through the file and it will change which grid line it's referencing of course I've just set it up here for one grid line but you just copy this and you can do it for multiple uh, grid lines or manipulate it in another way it's up to you guys you can see this pretty clearly as well in levels. There's only three levels. So all the points are grouped into one of these levels and I can just vary that top level, for example. Now what you're looking at there is actually the output of the Karamba model already. So it's all been assembled and ready to go as part of the conversion. I'm putting some loads, I'm turning the lines into beams. I've got my material and some supports. It's being assembled there into a model. It's been analyzed. This is the output of the model, um, but this visualizes it in 3D. Now, 
as I said before I've got a load factor of zero so you won't see any deflected shape but I do have the a Y vector being applied as a uniform line load to all members so as I turn that up you'll start to see a deflected shape it's most visible around this side of the building where these members are deflecting out they're they're moving out they're not connected to the cores it looks like so the cores are helping the overall stability of the building now one thing to notice is that I'm using the free version of Karamba here on this computer and it's been set up so that all members have fixed ends so if you want to change it to pinned members um, I believe you need the paid version of Karamba uh, and you can do that just by inputting the joints and setting their um, fixities but anyway that just shows that the deflected shape uh, is working and I can change it to an X direction to see what that does. You can see these members here are trying to move with the X direction. It's a negative X direction member load. Just turn that up a bit. Yeah. And then maybe I'll just do a Z as well, which is basically a gravity. You can just see the self weight deflecting members. So that's it for this short demo. Hopefully, this um, can help people get into Karamba by converting their traditional analysis file straight into a Karamba model with some help from grouping up the coordinates to quickly vary them parametrically. Just go to our website to see which model types can be converted over. You could even turn Revit into straight into a Karamba model or Grasshopper model through this method. Hope people find this useful and if you liked this video leave a thumbs up or subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.